Alright guys, welcome back to another video game playthrough. And uh, today we have Monster Retro Battle Card, which is one of my favorite games of all time. It's a game I always go back to, and I apologize ahead of time. I'm going to try to do the voices, but there's a lot of female voices. And I'm bad at voices, but I'm really bad at female voices. This story also takes place during Monster Retro Battle Ranger times. This is a side story. This There was a game that gained immense popularity as soon as it was introduced among the children who could not become monster breeders. It was called Battle Card. Battle Card quickly became popular not only to children but adults as well. There was a rising demand for an arena in which real battles could take place. Whew. Sorry, this goes fast. In order to satisfy that demand, the Femba and Emma created MCA. An organization designed to carry out official battle card tournaments, quotation marks. And it was on such a day. This is like one of the best card games of all time, by the way. And I'm sure you can get it on an emulator if you would like to. Because it's a pretty old game. It's for the PlayStation. And it's freaking amazing. Please tell me your name. <laughs> well, if you ask, it is the Fluffy Panda. How fluffy? The fluffiest. Uh... And the soundtrack to this game is great. I love it. It's so relaxing. Almost for like every area has like an amazing soundtrack. I think my favorite's uh, uh, the Dragon Headquarters though. Is this name okay? Is this name okay? Yes, it is. Thank you for asking. Good to see you again, Fluffy Panda. How long has it been since Colt and I came to your farm? You were only a rookie monster breeder in those days. <laughs> That's how I assume he breathes, Pabs. And Colt just started as a breeder assistant. I was worried if you were two were going to be alright together. Well, Colt is going to be 15 tomorrow. I can't believe how fast time passes by. I heard you're setting up. A birthday party for Colt tomorrow. Fluffy Panda, Colt is lucky that she can work with a breeder like you. Now, what should I give her for her birthday present? Ah, I bet Colt would really love that. Okay, so I know what I'm going to give her. Uh, Fluffy Panda, what are you going to give her? Well, let me guess what you're going to give her for on her birthday. This is basically the game saying you're going to give it to her. Deal with it. Hmm. A good monster breeder should know what their assistant likes. Of course, you're already aware that Colt loves to play battle cards. Hmm. I think I got it. Fluffy Panda, aren't you thinking about giving her that Phoenix card? No, I was not. You know, the card your father gave you? Just say yes, because it... If you say no, he still set, you still give it to her. Hmm, I knew it. I think that's nice, Fluffy Panda. Very nice. Pabs approves. Anyways, I can't wait to see this happy smile on Colt's face tomorrow. <sighs> okay. Everybody, thank you all for having a, a, bir uh, a birthday party for me. It's nice to see you, Q. Colt, happy birthday! Ah, here's a present for you! Wow, what beautiful flowers! Thank you very much, Q. Oh, you are welcome. Oh, you must be Colt's partner from the farm. Nice to see you, Fluffy Panda. My name is Cure. Please call me Q. I've known Q for a long time. Q is... Uh, Q is a, mo a card breeder. I just play around with the cards, but Q actually plays in the battle card tournaments. Well, Colt, speaking of battle cards... Nobody was speaking of battle cards, old man. I heard you have collected quite a few monster cards. Yes, and trust me, it was not easy. Now here's a present for me. Um, what is this piece of junk? That is a monster plate. See those square holes on the plate? That's where you can keep your monster cards. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Let me try putting my monster cards in here. Huh. It doesn't even fill half the space. I guess I have to collect a whole lot more. Oh. 
You should try my cards. We might be able to fill all the spaces. What do you think? Okay. I'm gonna borrow your monster cards, Q. No, I still need a Phoenix card. But Phoenix cards are really rare, so... I think it's really difficult to find one. Ahem. You know, um... I just remembered. I gotta go poop. No, <laughs> Fluffy Panda has a present for you, Colt. Oh, you already gave me a great party you shouldn't have. Oh my, a Phoenix card. Isn't this the card your father gave you? Are you sure I can keep it? No. Yes, I guess. Thank you very much, Fluffy Panda. I might as well be on everyone's good side if I don't have a choice anyways. Now we can complete the plate. This plate. Uh-huh. Let me put... It on the plate Pabs gave me. This might take a few playthroughs if I'm doing all the voices. It's probably going to take a while. I'm sorry, guys. But this is more just for the fun. Oh! Whoa! Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> what tarnation is happening? It's so shiny. I need my sunglasses. Master Pabs! Fluffy Panda! God is gone! <laughs> All the cars in the plane are gone too! What on earth is going on? Oh no! This is not the... Master Pabs! What is it, Master Pabs? Tell us! There is a story behind this plate. That the one who will place all monster cards on this plate shall be taken to the paradise of monsters. Until today, I was sure it was just some fairy tale. Um, well, so is Colt now in that our paradise of monsters? Yes, I'm afraid she is. <laughs> you just give her a magical plate? Nice. I heard that there are strange monsters in the paradise of monsters. Who knows what kind of monsters they can be? I really hope Colt is all right. We'll be all right. So we better go after Colt right now. Absolutely. First, the three of us must collect monster cards to put in the plate. You know, I just lost all my monster cards. <laughs> and the only way to collect the, those is... Exactly. Apparently, we must start collecting monster cards from scratch. You, you help Fluffy Panda out. First, take Fluffy Panda to the Monster Card Association. The best way to collect monster cards is to register at the MCA. I agree, Master Pabs. Okay, Fluffy Panda, let's go to the MCA. It is in the BC Center. <sighs> Female voices hurt me. <laughs> Probably hurt you too with me. Hello, welcome to the Monster Card Association. My name is Benelette. I am the receptionist. You can register at MCA to participate in our monster card tournaments. Also, for our first members, we are offering monster cards, compliments of the Monster Card Association. Fluffy Panda, to provide you a set of cards that match you, we would like to fill out you to fill out the questionnaire. This is super cool. There are 20 questions. You must answer all of them honestly. Let's start. How will you be able to know? This determines what card you get, so this is cool. The bus, yeah, I definitely get off my seat. I don't mind. Between school and sports, I'm better at school. Uh, sure. I'm gonna get a sway zone. We'll be so mad. I prefer to talk about my successes. I'd rather talk about my failures, to be honest. I would like to have extra glasses. Nope. I don't want to see people's bones. I am a good listener, yes. I tend to waste my money. Not really. Consider myself to be a normal person. Yeah, pretty much. Keep my room neat and clean. Hmm. Not at the moment. <laughs> I have special skills that I could be proud of. I think so. In the future, I will be very successful. Hmm. I hope so. I've hardly ever told a lie. Yeah, I don't lie too often unless I'm like joking with somebody, so I don't count that. Between a dog and a cat, I would rather have a dog as a pet. That is true. I think the human race will cease to exist in the near future. No. <laughs> I prefer simple things over fancy things. Yeah, I'm not too fancy. Cockroaches are my one weakness, so yeah, I would ask somebody. And I don't mind other bugs, but cockroaches bother me. I've seen a ghost. No, probably not. 
I've seen scary things and been thought it was a ghost, but I don't think so. I'm afraid of heights. I used to be, but I'm not anymore. I'd rather eat- no. <laughs> I tend to throw away things I no longer need. Not really, I usually keep stuff. I think I have more friends than the average person. Probably not. I think I probably have the same as the average person. Thank you very much. Fluffy Panda, the monster's most suitable for you are. Nagger Galley Tagger! Shit! <laughs> no! No! Oh, that's the worst! Uh, good luck, Fluffy Panda. Have a great day. <laughs> no! Uh. <laughs> God dang it. Alright. Fluffy Panda, I guess we're done. Let's go home. <laughs> I think I'm gonna try to keep these parts at like 20 minutes-ish. But, just cause I don't want it to be super long. It looks like you are done with the registration. Hi, Master Pabs. So now, Fluffy Panda is a card breeder. <gasps> Let me see. What monsters did you get for your starter kit? Well, well. Naga, Galley, and Tiger. <laughs> you got the crappiest ones. Looks like you got yourself a well-balanced team. He always says that. Master Pabs. I told Ben that why I lost all my cards. Then she made an exception and gave me three monster cards. Well, well, good for you. However, Q, remember, for the time being, you are to help the Fluffy Panda, okay? I think that will be the best for all of us in the future. I agree, Master Pabs. I will do my best. Very good, Q. Fluffy Panda, you should try to learn battle cards as quickly as you can. I will be my own, collecting monster cards. Next time I see you, I want you to be strong like me. Like me! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> By that time, we should all have all the monster cards we need. Q will help you if you have any questions. Q. Fluffy Panda has a lot to learn from you. Yes, Master Pabs. Very well, then. And away! Fluffy Panda. First of all, do you know battle cards rules? Yes. I'm not going through that crap. That's good. <laughs> Let's check the rules while we play. For no! While playing a practice game. It's not as bad if you hit yes, so thank God. Whew. Did I put on hard difficulty? I should have. Yeah, okay. I think I did. Please select a team to use in battle. Is this team okay? It's the only team I got. <laughs> it's all I got. <laughs> Okay, so hard mode you have to do in a specific way. You have to kill the right monster first if you want to succeed. Her, for her, it doesn't matter, but for the later people you'll fight because they have mixed monsters. We will now decide who attacks first. Please choose a card. Whoever has the card with the saucer stone will attack first. Please, no saucer stone. Yes! So the reason you don't want the saucer stone is because you can only sacrifice two cards. If you don't get it, you can sacrifice five and have a bigger turn first. Well, let's play a battle card game while looking at the rules. The second attacker can change 
Two, oh, she's gonna say it anyways. Two hands and the guts at the beginning. And guts are what you use to use moves. Um, and this. The game will start with the Fluffy Panda's attack step. The first turn of the first attack doesn't have a draw step. Once you see your cards, open the menu and select next. But what if I have a zero guts card that I can use? Like this one. Okay, I want to get rid of... Hair first. Hair does damage. So for my team, it's actually kind of like a dodge heavy team, which sucks because that's like my worst play style. So that's going to be really painful until I start getting like Golem and Dino and like the cards that actually do damage. I'm in trouble. <laughs> Me too. Me too. In order to use skill cards, you need guts. The skill card you just use is a special card that requires their guts. The black number at the bottom of the card is the number of guts required for that skill. When you use a skill, the appropriate number of guts will be spent. The gut step is used to store these guts. Okay, let's actually store some guts. Flip the cards in your hand and open the menu to select next. Your guts increase by one for every card you flip over. So like this, and then I get three guts. So the rules in this game are really simple. That's how you make guts. Since your gut step is done, Fluffy Panda's turn is over. <sighs> I don't need the explanation. The attack turn step starts with the draw step. The attack, attack breeder will draw so that he, ha he slash she has five cards in his or her hand. The defense breeder can't draw any cards. Right now it's my attack turn. It's my attack step. If I have an attack card for a monster that is present, and if I have enough guts for that move, I can attack. Um, the attack step is done. If you have enough attack cards and guts, all monsters can attack. But one monster can only attack once per turn, unless you have a special card. Attacks such as Thunderbolt of Pixies can attack twice or more per turn. Read the card description for special moves like these. Those. Unlike the beginning of the battle, I can make all cards guts. In other words, you can earn a maximum of five guts per turn. My turn is done. It's Fluffy Panda's attack turn. Okay, thank you. After this, it's your attack- oh. <laughs> I hate tutorial. I hate it. I need one guts. I messed up, son. So, Tiger's Claws, you can combine with Horn, and you can do like 7 damage, but you have to have all 3 cards in your hand at once. Which is very unlikely. You need Left Claw, Right Claw, and Horn Attack. I'm in trouble. Yes, you are. <sighs> and I'm gonna apologize ahead of time when we get to Nelson. See, I kept a dodge card for this. So, see how this dodges? Now I'll take no damage. There's certain cards that can't be dodged, and there's certain cards, when you dodge them, they will do half the damage, so you gotta be careful. Block pretty much blocks everything unless it cannot be blocked, which is rare. There's a few cards that can't be blocked. But you want to keep your guts high as possible and you want to keep your dodges if you can. If you have a dodge comp like I do, unfortunately, you want to keep your dodges. And it's always good to peck down at people so you can get them kill range faster. Pretty basics. He'll pro she'll probably dodge this because she's a jerk, but we'll see. Oh my god. We got him! Yes! <laughs> you can turn off the animations, but I really like them. I know that might annoy some people, but I'm one of those. I've played this game. I've played through this game at least five times, and I still like to see the animation, so maybe some people want to see them too. Right, I need to kill Moochie next. Tiger, it's very hard to carry a game with just him, to be honest with you. So this card stock went down a lot because it attacks everything. So there's no reason to really use that. It's a waste of guts. Let's start with Scratch, see if she'll dodge that. So you want to use your weak cards first. Like, just in case they have a dodge card, you can maybe make them waste it. It's a little bit harder to do in hard mode, but I think in easy mode, they'll like almost always try to dodge things. I don't think I'll keep Lay Down on Naga because I'm in Galley because he has seven hit points and none of those monsters have a damaging move that does seven hit points. So... They'll probably kill Tiger first since they already looked at him. They usually focus on one monster, so they're going to go for Tiger and they can one-shot him if they have the right combination. Oh, she went for Naga. Don't do that. 
Don't do that. Good. Good. Um, tax step is complete. Okay, let me think for a minute. Okay. We gotta kill Moochie, that's the goal. You will die, Moochie. That's one Moochie boy. So this card kind of sucks because you're basically giving one thing to get rid of one for the month. Watch this. Help! Help! I hate cards that are like one for ones though. It's not that there's no like super value to it. Hmm. Does this dodge? Yeah, it does. Okay, whatever. Should go for Mochi. Oh, decisions. Let's go for Mochi. I know he only has 10 HP and this 2 HP and this does 5, but killing Mochi would be ideal here. Because he has a lot of damage. Not a lot, a lot, but like a lot compared to Tiger. I'm just going to go all guts now. I might not get my perfect victory. Like, if you win with all your monsters up, you get a perfect, which gives you, like, a n different interaction between them. But that's all you get from it, as far as I know. do 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 so I could do this and make sure they couldn't attack next turn and try to build my guts, but that seems questionable. Actually, I might as well. So this makes it where she can't attack, and the only reason I'm doing this is because I don't have any cards like a one-shot her, but I know I have some in my deck somewhere. And I can get one more guts than I had this turn. So I might be able to get my perfect victory, and she won't be able to do anything this turn. Kind of a lot of guts to use for a combo like that, but sometimes there's like niche situations where that's actually a good card. Roar. Roar. Let's go for. Oh, that won't kill him. This will, though, if it hits. She'll dodge it, I'm sure. You gotta be careful, too, though. If you run out of cards, you lose. So. Hey, we did a perfect victory. I don't use a defense card. I have lost perfectly. If you're this strong, you're okay. There is nothing else for me to teach. <laughs> Did you have any doubts? Here, Fluffy Panda. That is critical, a limited card. You can make your team stronger with that card. Card management is in the menu. It's critical sucks. Where you can change your car skill cards. Critical only works for like AOE moves that I know of. I hate it. Like, it's supposed to be, like, super rare and good, but it costs two guts to make a card do two more damage, which is a lot of guts for two damage. Just a moment, we might have a visitor. Hello. Hi, Fluffy Panda. My name... Oh, wait. My name is Miller. He's got to have an annoying voice. I was right behind you at registration. You remember me, right? Nope. Um, well, that's not important. I registered myself after you, you see? So Fluffy Panda and I are kind of like classmates. <laughs> so as your rival, I came to battle you. Did you say rival? Yeah, exactly. Your rival. <laughs> so what do you say, Fluffy Panda? You want to play a game? <sighs> okay, let's play a better card and play a game. Before we begin, don't you think that the outcome of the battle depends on the card? Well, of course, it's always better to have more cards. Then again, there is ki the chemistry between there is this chemistry between teams. Exactly. So if you want to know which one of us is the better card breeder, I say we should fight using the same cards. OK, I guess. And how are we going to do that? Fluffy Panda can decide the lineup for our team. Then I will use exactly the same cards. If there are any cards I don't have, you can let me use some of yours. No. Okay, that sounds fair. Does, no, it doesn't. Fluffy Panda, this will be good practice for you. God, okay. <laughs> oh, pissed. <laughs> I hate this dude. Because you're literally playing against your deck. 
Let me see who's my MVP on my deck. And I really hate it when you have a deck like this, because it's really hard. Who's got the most damage? Probably Naga, I would think. That's a lot of lie downs. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna kill Naga, then Galley, and then hopefully... Actually, we might go Galley, Naga... Uh... Galley, Naga, Tiger, that's probably what we'll do. Because Galley only has 7 hit points. It's between Galley and Naga who we kill first. Please give me the Broken Saucer disc. Please, please, please. No! <laughs> oh, I hate starting first. It is literally the worst. Wada, wada, wada. Yo. I'm finished attacking. Yeah. I wanted to do that. That's what I wanted to do. You freaking jerk. Mm, I see that tiger's in killer range if I do. Hmm, it's hard. Decisions, decisions. I don't think we're gonna win. It's really hard to win against this guy if you don't get first turn. Definitely on hard mode. Or second turn, I mean. I did get first turn. I don't want first turn. Do -do 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 -do. I could have used Claw there, but I'd rather have the Guts, because I need four Guts for this turn if I'm gonna kill Galley. He probably has dodges in his hand, which is why he didn't do anything there, but... Dang, I should have kept that. Hmm. Oopsie. I might... Two... I think I'm gonna kill him. If he doesn't dodge, he's gonna die. Go ahead! This right backfired horribly. <laughs> horribly. If I don't get the kill on Galia, it will be... Not good. No bueno. Because it, those, uh, those effect cards work for both of you for the rest of the duel unless somebody replaces it. Oh wow, that's not good. That is no bueno. For real. It's kind of good I got him to use it because it's like a three guts move and that's one less he has, but... He's gonna wombo the crap out of me and I'm gonna be so salty, I'm telling you. I tell you what. I wouldn't even use Lie Down unless Galley was like the main card in my deck, to be honest with you. Because it just takes so much guts. And you die anyways. <laughs> so he wasted three guts to block two attacks that took a total of one guts and still died. So that kind of just proves the point there of how crappy that card is. It's good that he, Galley works better in dodge decks where you're trying to like starve the person out of cards than it does in like fighting decks like I tend to run. Yeah, I need to kill... I need to kill Naga next to be honest with you. That's who I need to kill next. And then Tiger. Three Guts cards, that's a bold move. I wonder if he has counter, that'd be unfortunate, but that would take all of his guts to do it. So, I don't think that'd be ideal for him either. So the hard part about the start is you don't really know what cards you have in your deck, so you could like discard cards and then realize that that monster has no more attacks, which is hellaciously unfortunate. So he killed Tiger, so I can effectively get rid of all Tiger's cards for the rest of the fight. He should have three, three or two dodge cards on Tiger, his Tiger, so... I should be able to starve him out, slowly but surely. And I don't think you can counter intelligence moves, so... Sucks to suck.
So yeah, now something I need to be careful about is discarding cards that my uh, monsters use because I don't want to run out of cards for them to use by like discarding them. That's why I won't get like it'd be ideal to get more guts, but I'd rather just keep the cards. That heated battle is actually really good for Tiger though, so that's kind of a misplay on my part. Well, I have Tiger too, so I guess it made sense. And I want to kill Galley, so it was a good play. I, I don't regret it. Even if I lose, I don't regret it. If I lose, I'm gonna kind of regret it, but <laughs> just a little bit. Is that a KO? KO! Not if you dodge it. Dodging is so cool! Okay. Calm down, Miller. Calm down. Uh oh, he's gonna combo. Nope, Galley's dead. I'll pray for you. <laughs> Crap! It's gonna be close. Now you see why I hate playing against this guy? It's so annoying. Because he uh... But, Naga should win if he has... I, I've been saving Naga cards, so it should be alright. Hopefully. Catch this. Okay, he's in kill range now, as long as he doesn't dodge. You need one Guts card to dodge, too. If he doesn't have one Guts, he can't dodge me. But he's probably saving his dodge cards, too. He should only have two dodges left, but he probably has one in his hand, at least. Oh, we got him! <laughs> Thank gosh. There's nothing I can do. Ah. Uh. <laughs> You're kidding. Russell, Russell. See if I drew this earlier. Okay. Get out of here, Miller. Get out of my house. That wasn't so bad. This is the hardest part of the game is getting through the intro because you don't have the cards you want and everything. Fluffy Panda made up the team so naturally. Fluffy Panda should win the battle. Fluffy Panda made the team because you told Fluffy Panda to, Miller. So? There were some cards in there I've never seen before. <laughs> Miller, you don't like to lose now, do you? Um, anyways, I think I will return to the center to get more cards. What are you going to do? We are planning to collect all the monster cards. Monster cards, huh? That won't be easy. Except for the first three monsters, you don't really get new ones. Unless you win a tournament or something. Yes, we know. We are planning to attend tournaments. But I think that is going to take forever. So we were, we were planning to play with people that have extra monster cards. Well, I don't know. You need a really good card to bet against someone's monster card. That's no problem. Look. Wow! I knew you had the critical, but I didn't think you would have that many. I collected these a long time ago. With those cards, you can find plenty of opponents. I think you should start from the center. I'm sure you can find plenty of card breeders. Okay, we'll do that. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Q. <laughs> See you later, Fluffy Panda. Let's play again someday. I hate Miller. <laughs> I hate him. <laughs> now let's see the cards we've acquired. I hate him and I hate Ellie too. Even though Ellie's like my fangirl, I hate her too. <laughs> God dang. <laughs> She's annoying. Oh, I hate her. Spoilers, by the way. Sorry. Oh. Fluffy Panda. Today, let's go somewhere. Places we can move right now are BC Center, Laboratory, and the farm. BC Center is where you, we did the breeder registration. Laboratory is where you, they make cards from Saucer Stones CD. You want to advance the calendar without any battles. Move to the farm to rest. According to Miller, the card breeders hang out at the BC Center. Let's go check out the BC Center. Alright, this is definitely part one right here. <laughs> this is going to be the end of part one. Oh my god. It took 30 minutes to get through two duels. This is going to be such a long video series. I'm so excited. 
Eh, if you watch it, you watch it. If you don't, you don't. I like it, this game, so I want to play through it and do videos. But thanks for watching as always, guys. If you could, please like and subscribe, and we're definitely going to do more of this series. But, yeah, this is a good place to stop, because next we'll be going to the BC Center to fight Daniel Troy. Is this his name Daniel? Daniel, Toy, and Alice. So, I'll try to do one of these videos daily, and then all the other videos I usually do. So, yeah, thanks for watching as always, guys. Bye!